morning, former Vice President Mike Pence officially launching his presidential campaign. The former Vice President posting this campaign announcement on Twitter just hours ago. Now, he joins a growing field of Republican candidates, one that's set to become even larger today when North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum is expected to announce his 2024 nomination run. Now, this morning, our teams are covering the Republican race to take back the White House next year. Robert Sherman is in New Hampshire, where former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie just officially joined the the race, but we start with Kelly Meyer live where the former vice president will speak with voters today. Good morning, Kelly. Hey there, good morning, guys. Yeah, just behind me in this building, just a few hours from now, the former vice president set to make that big announcement and make it official that he's running in 2024. And he actually gave a sample of what we can expect in that announcement in a video that he posted just a few hours ago. Uh, you can see that video here in it. He took hits at President Biden on inflation, the border, national security, and LGBTQ plus community. He also took a hit, a subtle hit, at his former boss, former President Donald Trump. Take a listen to this. We can turn this country around, but different times call for different leadership. Today, our party and our country need a leader that will appeal, as Lincoln said, to the better angels of our nature. Now, this is the first time that Pence won't be running alongside Trump. This time, he'll be running against him, pitting himself against his former boss. He's been distancing himself, though, from Trump for the last several months, really since the January 6th attack at the U.S. Capitol when he certified the results of the 2020 election. Pence later blaming Trump for that day for putting his family and those at the Capitol in danger. Now, his family and his faith are really the foundation of his campaign. He talks about his faith a lot. He mentioned the word God around four times in that video. That really appealing to the Christian conservative voters, especially in a state like Iowa, where, as we said, they make up a majority of those Iowa Republican caucus goers for the uh, Iowa caucuses early next year. Adrian. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.